This time on Survival School. You guys gonna be able to handle it out there? Navigating their way through deep wilderness, the airmen confront dangers big. I would turn around, look to my left, and there's this bear coming right at me. And small. Because I got stung by a bee, I'm ass naked in a hole. The men test all their navigation skills in a head-to-head -head race. Yeah, we've been first every point. And scaling a sheer rock wall may be their biggest challenge yet. If they really don't know what they're doing, they'll be falling pretty damn quick. All as the airmen strive to become masters of survival. Uh, I like this. It was so intense yesterday that I literally could not walk. The snow just keeps coming down. I'm definitely taking a toll on you mentally. Ready? I turn around, look to my left, and there's this bear coming right at me. I have visual roll left, roll left. Sea sickness started hitting pretty heavy. His arms are cramped up, his face was purple. Find something to hold on to deep down and don't quit. Let's go! You're gonna have to do things that suck. Trudging through, that's all it is. Just trudging through. The Air Force SEER program is one of the toughest survival courses in the military. It is designed to teach a downed airman how to survive in the wilderness and find his way back home. If he does not know how to navigate, you can obviously see the outcome. The air crew would be spread about in the woods and we would not be able to find them. We now go in to save a life versus having that seer specialist walk them out because of his navigation skills. Midway through their third phase, mobile, the men are learning all the necessary navigation skills to make it out of just such a situation. This is a lesson in following directions. Alive. The scariest thing about mobile is you don't know when your body's gonna break. You don't know when your feet are gonna give out. You're gonna end up with horrible blisters. Carrying a 70 pound pack up and down treacherous terrain has left the airmen physically and mentally exhausted. And for almost all the men, blisters became their biggest nemesis.